Well, after losing a very close race for governor in 2010, Republican Tom Emmer is back. On Tuesday, he won the sixth congressional seat in last week's midterm elections. That seat is being vacated by Congresswoman Michelle Bachman. And Congressman-elect Tom Emmer is joining us now. Thank you so much for coming on, and congratulations. Thank you. Good morning. Andrew. All right. Well, let me ask you, you are replacing somebody who is a conservative icon. Michelle Bachman has oftentimes clashed with leaders of the party, both nationally and here. Are you going to follow in her footsteps? Well, I, I mean, as a practical matter, I'm going to be in the seat that uh, Michelle Bachman has uh, held for the last eight years, but I can only be me. You know, the uh, district has been fortunate to have Michelle for the past eight years, and before that, Mark Kennedy, and hopefully I'm going to be able to do the job that people expect me to do over the next two years. All right, but you know, when you are when you were in the legislature, and certainly you're well known for your years in, in talk radio, Consider something of a firebrand. I mean, Michelle, uh, she has, Michelle Bachman has been somewhat controversial both nationally and here at home. Are you going to be more moderate than her? Well, I don't. I, you'll just have to wait and see. My job in the uh, in the Congress will be to represent the people of the sixth congressional district. It's funny, Esme. When I went around talking to folks, I ran for an executive position a couple years back. And I had to remind people that this is a representative's position, and I know the difference. Uh, when you are representing the people of the 6th District, your job is to be there and be responsive. Uh, it, it really is about customer service, and that's what I'll be doing. Okay. Let's talk about a, one uh, position where Michelle Bachman broke from her party recently was she did not support the uh, airstrikes in Syria. She voted against that, whereas most Republicans uh, voted in favor of it, as did most Democrats. Your position on that, if you had been in Congress for future votes, would you vote to support airstrikes in Syria? Well, it's, it's interesting because it's a little early to be asking that question, at least for a newly elected representative. I think uh, most people, including the folks that were running in the 6th Congressional District, were very careful to make it clear that those that are in, the, uh, in Congress right now have information that we don't. So before you start judging what they've done or what you might do, uh, be wise to get all the information. And from where I'm sitting, uh, that's a few weeks off. All right. Let's talk ab about the election. Obviously, you won handily by a margin of, I think, almost 20 points. But there were a lot of disappointments in the statewide races for Republicans, uh, unable to capture the 8th Congressional District seat, uh, the 7th, uh, obviously losing the governor in the U.S. Senate race. Your thoughts about why Minnesota was kind of an outlier here? Well, I, I mean, we talked about it a little bit. I, I think it was Tip O'Neill who's credited with the great line that all politics are local. Uh, from my perspective, as may, I believe all politics are personal. I think in Minnesota, it really is about the people we're voting for, and that's why when I went out in the 6th Congressional District, it was about meeting every person you possibly could. Individuals, families, faith communities, business owners, elected officials, members of public safety. It really is about making that personal connection. And those were spirited races in both the 8th and the, uh, in the 7th, I guess it was. But we've got to remember, there are four years uh, between now and the next time when we will have uh, statewide candidates on the ballot, which is a little unusual not to have mm -hmm. them two years from now. And it, it, from my perspective, we're still trying to learn the numbers, and I know you're going to have a guest on later that's probably doing this analysis as we speak, but it really is going to be important for Republicans to do a better job reaching voters with their message in the metro area, and it's going to be very important for Democrats to do a better job in outstate Minnesota. We'll see how that goes. All right. In terms of uh, you've talked during the campaign about bringing uh, all factions of the Republican Party together, including Jim Ramstead, who was certainly there aren't many Jim Ramsteads right. at all in Washington anymore, and also embracing the conservative wing. Can you really do that? I think we are at the beginning of that. I think we have. I mean, I was endorsed by not only Michelle Bachman, who holds the seat currently, uh, but also Jim Ramstead, uh, also uh, former U.S. Senator Dean Barkley from the Independence Party, a wide variety of people who you know, I've come to know over the past few years and support what we're doing. I told you that the ultimate goal for me is to make sure that Republicans, at least on our side, start to understand that you only can govern if you win elections, and you're only going to win elections if you can start uh, firing in the same direction. We have a funny way of building circular firing squads and shooting inwards. So. All right. Well, Congressman-elect Tom Emmer, again, congratulations, and thank you so much for coming by and thank bringing you, uh, two of your guys, two of your six kids with you today. Good luck with the snow tomorrow. All right. Thank you.